morning. You are listening to the voice of 200 million deprived and destitute people of Bangladesh. This voice should reverberate into the ears of all the democratic leaders of the world. It's regarding the illegal government of Bangladesh which is still trying to establish the existence of the ISIS by heart and soul and trying to make us fool and the entire world as well. You got to realize something that you need to have a very strong financial capabilities with the international support, weapons and trainings. You have to have an adequate space to constitute or to form a militia group or an organization capable enough to strike back a, a government either to deposit or to destabilize it. There is no proof of existence of the ISIS, Taliban or any terrorist groups or any other militia man in such a lush, green, beautiful country where always the tranquility and harmony amongst people exist all through. There's no discrimination, no disparity, no discrepancy, no abomination or hatred or disregard among his people in terms of their color creed, religion, caste, faith, or whatever you say. Every individual is equally treated with honor and dignity. India can protect the National Razakar of Bangladesh, Mr. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and his generation. Neither Modi could save Hasina and her ministers. To remind you the hard fact, Hasina won't get a single person walking behind her as soon as she leaves the this illegal power. Hasina her family and all her relatives will absolutely be helpless and aloof. No military protection will work. Their lives will simply be jeopardized, leaving their very fate on the mercy of 200 million people. That's the annals of history experienced from the previous carnage of her father and her entire family, witnessed by the millions of people. Thousands of Awami terrorists will be found dead in the streets, in the alleys, everywhere, in the gutters, in the sewerage, in the heap of rubbish and dirt, scattered all over the country, just like 1971. They will be obliterated from the face of the country. They've made Jamaat Islam their permanent enemies and they have to pay for that as long as the country survives. ISIS will never kill any Japanese or an Italian. It could be credible. It could be credible if the ISIS would have killed any USA or a UK citizen who are always in their prime targets. The intelligence backed by, by this illegal government and the Ansarullah Bangla team, the integral part of this current government, have appeared as ISIS. 
those are in the killing spree and engaged in the random abductions. Whenever the government intelligence had carried out an incident of murder by the order of the illegal Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina or by her ministers in Bangladesh, then this illegitimate government had arrested and killed the leaders or the activists of the opposition political parties in the name of militia man. The members of Jamaat Islam and BNP were the sole victims. You don't have to be a lawyer, a doctor, or a scientist, or a novelist, or a physicist, or a musician, or whatever. Just a pretty ordinary man can apprehend all these illegal activities, such as gruesome murders by the government activists, the abduction and the killings of the foreigners by the government intelligence, the brutal rape of a daughter before her father just last month, a sister being raped in front of her brother, a mother being raped and killed before a child just a few days ago, sexual abuses to some of the women in a broad daylight by the government activists among the millions of people at the premises of Dhaka University just a few months ago, the extrajudicial killings by the police and the rapid action battalion in their own custody, which is a rampant judicial killings with the judges who were politically selected by this illegal government, extortions, the restrictions to the right of speech by closing down all the medias apart from the government ones, the bullets received by an unborn baby in her mother's womb by the, by the government terrorist just a couple of months ago. A bride was kidnapped and raped by the government terrorist just last week. The murders of all the bloggers by the government Ulama League, known as Ansarullah Bangla team, which is still continuing its killing spree to establish the existence of the ISIS. Unstoppable corruption and crimes by the illegal ministers and members of the parliaments. All these are the culmination of all the crimes and injustice against humanity. You have to confront 200 million people and you have to face justice. The whole world has watched all those notorious video clips. The health minister, Mr. Nasim is directly involved in so much corruptions which were flushed out in the medias in details how he had carried out all these crimes and corruptions without the without caring anyone and none was dare enough to raise a voice against this corrupt health minister Nassim which was an open secret if the thing that the people are idiots and these ministers will be excused or ignored, then they're living in the dreamland. They must be penalized for their every misdeed they committed against the nation. And you know, recently, the US FBI has discovered more than 10 bank accounts of Sajib Wajid, the son of Sheikh Hasina, in the USA containing 20 billion dollars which is now undergoing the investigation of the FBI. Sajib Wajid is not a he's not a businessman he is not a millionaire neither, neither his father was he is simply an IT engineer where did this money come from who gave him this money This is the money of the taxpayer Americans. This money belongs to the hard-working Japanese, hard-working British people, Europeans, Canadians, Australians, 
Koreans, Chinese, and above all, this is the money of the poor people of Bangladesh.